Good morning students, so this is the class for 8th standard, subject social and topic name is of geography first lesson, rock and soil, okay. So in this lesson, first we are going to see about rock, what is mean by rock and how the rocks are all made up, okay. And the rocks are the solid mineral materials forming a part of the surface of the earth and, and the other similar planets, okay. So the rocks is, it is a very, very considered as a very solid material, okay, but mineral materials, it is, uh, it is, uh, created the part of the surface of the earth okay well, so we can get from the rocks in the surface of the earth okay and the other planet from the other planets also we are getting rocks and the earth crust which is known as lithosphere is composed of rocks okay well, so bubi or male parapa yadalada on the made up by the rocks all and rock is an aggregate of one or more minerals okay it is made up of one or more minerals and rock is an important natural resources and is found found in soil state okay well, so it will be very very um, soil state only and it has it may be a hard or soft in nature okay well, some some sometime it will be very hard and sometime it will be considered as a very soft one and an estimation reveals that there are uh, 2000 different types of mineral found on the earth surface or out of out of which only eight basis minerals commonly found all over the earth okay well. so if we take um, uh, earth surface means we can be able to find out different type of uh, um, minerals okay well, in the rocks uh, 2000 uh, 2000 different types of minerals we can be able to find out on the earth surface okay from the out of out of 2000 only eight only eight basic minerals commonly found in the all over the earth okay and minerals are chemical substances which exist in nature so um, the minerals having uh, it is formed with the chemical substances okay wa? and they may be occurred either in the form of elements or components uh, uh, you can study the, in this elements what is meant by elements and also what is meant by compounds and all in physics okay so the either it is will be formed something uh, some some elements and also compound will be there in the rocks okay next classification of rocks so according to the mode of uh, formation the rocks are classified into three types okay igneous rock igneous rock mean in tamil thee paaregal appdin solluvanga okay and sedimentary rocks means padivu paaregal appdin solluvanga and metamorphic rocks metamorphic means urumariya paaregal appdin solluvanga okay here the classification of rocks okay so rock can be uh, classified into first three okay first three types igneous sedimentary and metamorphic okay and if we take igneous rock mean there will be a two categories will be there intrusive igneous uh, igneous and also e extrusive igneous okay and if we take a sedimentary rock means organic and inorganic chemical and mechanical will be there and metamorphic means thermal and dynamic will be there so first we are going to say about what is meant by igneous rocks how the igneous rocks are made up of the igneous rocks are formed by the saltifications of molten magma so it is um, made up of so molten magma so okay va? and the erimele column and the magma alandu padivava mari uruvagaradha enna adu in the igneous rocks appdin solranga okay and these rocks are also called as a primary rocks or parent rocks as all the other rocks are formed from that from these rocks only so what is another name of uh, igneous rock means primary rocks or parent rocks why they are calling as a parent rock means so other form of rocks and all formed from these rocks only okay so the sedimentary rocks are formed by the sediment derived and deposits by various agents okay well. so by various agents and all deposited so through that only the sedimentary rocks and all formed okay due to high temperature and pressure the undisturbed sediment of a long period sediment to form a sedimentary rocks okay well. so the long time will be deposited and also short time deposits also form the sedimentary rocks okay and sedimentary rocks consist of many layers okay so which were formed by sediment deposit at a different period so it has a um, it, it consists of different many layers okay over nary layers are coming in so and the layers will be formed by sediment deposit over layer and other zone deposits are going on so uh, some period some different periods will be deposited and all sorry as it consists of many strata it is also known as a stratified rocks okay so after some time the deposits also called as a strata okay well, and consist of many strata and it is known as a stratified rocks okay and sediment rocks are the important sources of the natural resources like coal oil and natural gases 
Okay, next metamorphic rocks. The word metamorphic is derived from the uh, two Greek words meta and mor morpha. Okay, meta means change and morpha means shape. Okay, and uh, when igneous and sedimentary rocks subject to high temperature and pressure, the original rocks get altered to form a new kind of rock called metamorphic rock. So, when the igneous rocks and also sedimentary rocks due to high temperature and pressure, okay, it will be created if the original rocks are gelt at. So, original and the rocks are going to change. And the forms are going to change. So, if you look at the new and new and new and new and new and new Morphic rocks up in Sula, Urumaria Pareve, Urumaria Paregal up in Sula, okay. Metamorphism is two types, okay. So uh, metamorphis metamorphism is divided into two types. First one is thermal metamorphism and dynamic metamorphism, so they are called, okay. Okay, next one is rock cycle. Pare in Chulachi Pakabur. Igneous rocks are the primary rocks formed first on the earth. So, the igneous rocks only formed first on the earth. These rocks are weather eroded, transported, and deposited at the sea at some places to form a sedimentary rocks. Okay, so due to some weather conditions eroded and transported and deposited so, um, some places, um, that places form the sedimentary rocks. Okay, and the igneous and sedimentary rocks are changed into metamorphic rocks and other so uh, the igneous rocks and also uh, sedimentary rocks there will be some changes will occur due to uh, due to that changes the metamorphic rocks will be formed okay and, they, uh, and also influence of the temperature and pressure okay but due to some pressure and temperature will be occurred in the um, for igneous rocks and also sedimentary rocks okay so from that the metamorphic rocks and are made up and the uh, metamorphic rocks are also get uh, disintegrated and deposited to form a sedimentary rocks okay so metamorphic rocks is also um, will be some deposited in some places and also that that rock also formed the sedimentary rocks they are telling and formation of igneous rocks take place when there is an outflow of molten materials okay well, so already we seen uh, igneous rocks and all made up of outflow of uh, molten materials okay and the erima uh, ilendu varakudi and the magma nale magma nale and the veliya varakudi and the kulambugal padindu uruvaakudi and the igneous rocks nu solirukom okay like this the rocks of the earth crust keeps on changing from one form to another form under various natural forces and agents so due to some um, natural forces and agents the rocks will be changed into one form to another form okay and the the endless process is referred as a rock cycle so this is the endless process okay what that is called as a rock cycle Quartzite and marble are the rock commonly used for construction and sculptures works. Okay, well, so uh, quartzites and marble, this is used for the purpose of uh, construction purpose and sculptures works. And marbles are widely used for making beautiful statues and decorative items such as base and uh, tiny gift articles and also grinded, uh, grinded marbles is used to produce plastic and paper etc. Okay, next uses of rocks. Rocks have been used to uh, used by man, um, mankind throughout the history. Okay, so the rocks and all this is used by um, humans from the history. Okay, but from the starting, mind the valid sheet car, mind the kulam thonte thelante. Edo oru mukhya pangvai ki rocks. Okay, and the rocks are the highly valuable and important uh, to almost all the aspect of economy. The minerals and metals in the rocks have been. Um, found essential to human civilizations okay so um, the minerals and metals uh, which is present in the rocks which is used for the human civilization and rocks are used for many purposes in our life and uh, some of them are given below okay well, so we are using rocks for these kind of purposes S cement purpose and writing chalk fire building materials path scrub and also gerb stone gerb means and the nade paade lotrak use pandra and ornaments roofing materials decorative materials and these are valuable sources of minerals such as gold, diamond and sapphire, sapphire etc. Okay?
okay next one is soil and its formation how the soil and all formed okay we are going to see soil is a mixture of organic matter minerals minerals gases liquids and organisms that together support life so soil is a mixing of organic matters such as minerals gas liquids and organisms that together support the life soil minerals forms soil minerals form the basis of soil okay the soil only having minerals which is only basis for the soil and it forms on the uh, surface of the earth okay well, so we can see the uh, soil on the earth uh, surface of the earth only it is known as the skin of the earth okay well, so which is only considered as the skin of the earth nam soil enga paaka mudiyum pubiyoda mel parappil dhaan paaka mudiyum adha dhaan enadhu pubikku or thol maadhiri appdin solranga skin of the male thol appdin solranga and soil are formed from rocks Uh, and also parental material through the process of weathering natural layer natural erosion sir water water wind temperature change gravity chemical chemical interactions and um, living organism and pressure difference differences uh, all helps break down the parent material okay va so due to these uh, changes uh, only helping to break down the parent materials okay and uh, it leads to the formation of loose materials okay so due to this changes it will be uh, um, uh, and our uh, our enna uh, sonna it will be lose the materials okay va breaking down the materials to form okay and in course of time they further break down into some fine particles so after that adukapra andha eppadi maariyudhu thugalukala maariyudhu appdin solranga okay and this process release the minerals locked in the rock fragmentation so so after some time this process is continuously going on after that they locked mineral locked in the rock fragmentations okay and later on the vegetation is covered which help in the regions forms humus content in the soil so adukapra enna adhu soil vandu romba ilugra maari irukku ilugra maari தன்மைக்கு வந்தது அப்படிங்கறாங்க this ways the soil gets mature gradually okay வா இதுக்கு அப்புறம் தான் கொஞ்சம் கொஞ்சமா மேச்சூர் ஆகுது soils அப்படிங்கறாங்க and world soil day is observed on the 5th december every year and soil composition so soil என்னென்ன கூட்டு பொருள்லாம் இருக்கு so the basis components of soils are mineral organic matter water and air so these are the components for you know to make a soil and uh, it consists of 45 percentage of mineral 5 percentage of organic matter and 25 percentage of water and 25 percentage of air and it is the only generalized fact and the compositions of soil varies from place to place and time to time so this is a generally generally composition but it is it can be changed from one place to another place and also time to time it will be changed the okay, next one is soil profile the soil profile is defined as the vertical insertion of the soil okay vertically they will define the soil profile from the ground okay from ground surface and extend downwards that the downward will be extended one and classification of soil soil are classified on the basis of their formations color physical and chemical properties okay based on these the soil will be classified into further types based on these soil is classified into six major types okay they are alluvial soil black soil red soil laterite soil and mountain soil desert soil so first one we are going to say about alluvial soil alluvial soil means vandal man appo nu solranga tamila these soils are formed uh, found in the regions of river valleys flood plains and coastal regions so these kind of soil we can able to see in these places uh, in the nearby regions of river valley and flood plains and coastal regions these are formed by the deposition of silt by the running of the okay va and alagal vandu adichu kondu varamudiyuma varakudi deposit avar alagal da mandal man appo solranga it is the most protective of all soils okay and it is suitable for the cultivation of sugar cane jute rice wheat and other food crops so it it can be we can uh, uh, we can grow rice sugar uh, rice sugar cane and also jute wheat uh, in this soil okay and the next one is black soil black soil mean karisal manna appo solluvo in tamil and these soil are formed by the weather weathering of a igneous rocks okay so due to weather conditions from the igneous rocks only the black soil and all formed black soil is a clayly in nature okay va idu eppadi irukna kalimanu maadu appo solra it is a retentive of moisture it contains a moisture content okay va eera pala thode irukum appo solra it is ideal for the growing cotton okay va it is suitable for growing cotton 
and red soil red soil means semmana nu solrom okay these soils are formed by the weathering and a uh, weathering of a metamorphic rocks and crystalline rocks also uh, from these two rocks only it is formed which is red soil and the presence of uh, it contains iron oxide makes this soil brown to red in color so due to iron iron oxide contents this red soil uh so this soil brown to red in color okay brown land end color la theriyad red color la theriyad appindranga it is usually found in the semi aroid regions so varanda pagudiyulla da indha mari soil la kadaikum paaka mudiyum appindranga it is not the fertile soil it is not for, suitable for growing something okay it is suitable for millet cultivation okay so it is um, absolutely suitable for mill, millet cultivation millet, millet means தினைகளை வந்து பயிரிடுவதற்கு ஏற்ற வகையான ஏற்ற வகையான மண் அப்படின்னு சொல்கிறாங்க அண்ட் லேட்ரைட் மண் சரளை மண் தீஸ் ஆர் த டிப்பிக்கல் சாயில் ஆஃப் ட்ராபிக்கல் ரீஜன்ஸ் தீஸ் சாயில்ஸ் ஆர் ஃபவுண்ட் இன் ஃபவுண்ட் இன் த ரீஜன்ஸ் விச் எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் ஆல்டர்னேட் வெட் அண்ட் ட்ரை கண்டிஷன் ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் டிப்பிக்கலி வி கேன் சி இன் த சம் பிரதேசங்கள் ஓகேவா ட்ராபிக்கல் ரீஜன்ஸ் அண்ட் தீஸ் சாயில்ஸ் ஆர் ஃபவுண்ட் இன் த ரீஜன்ஸ் விக்ஸ் இஸ் எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் ஸோ த ரீசன் த ரீஜன் வில் பி ஃபுல் ஆஃப் த வெட் அண்ட் ட்ரை கண்டிஷன் வில் பி தேர் okay and these soils are formed by the process of leaching and it is fertile okay why it is um, uh, it is fert it is very very fertile for cultivation anything so in this um, soil they can plant uh, crops like tea and coffee mountain soils okay malai mann appo solranga these soils are found over the slopes of mountain so and the malai ola அழுக்குகள்லேருந்து மலையோட சரிவுகள்லேருந்து கிடைக்கக்கூடிய மணல் மணல் தான் என்ன சொல்கிறாங்கன்னா மௌண்டைன் சாயில் சாயில் இன் தீஸ் ரீஜன்ஸ் ஆர் தின் அண்ட் ஆசிடிக் ஓகேவா அண்ட் ஹவ் ஆர் த கேரக்டரிஸ்டிக் ஆஃப் சாயில் டிஃபர்ஸ் ஃப்ரம் ரீஜன் டு ரீஜன் பேஸ்ட் ஆன் த ஆல்டிடியூட் ஸோ இட் இஸ் வில் பி டிஃபர் ஃப்ரம் ஒன் ரீஜன் டு அதர் ரீஜியன்ஸ் ஓகே அண்ட் டெசர்ட் சாயில் பாலை மண் and these are sandy soil found in the hot desert region okay well, so we can see these kind of desert soil in the places of uh, hot desert areas and these soils are porous and saline so id eppadi irukum na over manaya irukum over kala irukum adhe mari eppadi irukum na nun thugal kala irukum appdinu solru pa paale vanathula na paathirukom la eppadi man irukum adhe mari sin it is uh, infertile agriculture in this okay so we cannot uh, able to cultivate anything it is not suitable for agriculture purpose okay and soils are not so successful soils um ipdi iruka romba vandu success ah irukadu apdindra okay okay next one is layers of soil okay so we take layers of soil means o origin or humus so in this layers okay o humus here we can see in o ஹாரிசன் ஆர் ஹியூமஸ் திஸ் இஸ் கால்ட் அஸ் அ ஆர்கானிக் லேயர் ஓகேவா ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் கன்சிடர் அஸ் அ ஆர்கானிக் லேயர் திஸ் இஸ் கன்சிஸ்ட் கன்சிஸ்ட் ஆஃப் திஸ் லேயர்ஸ் டாமினேட் பை த ஆர்கானிக் மெட்டீரியல் ஓகேவா ஸோ இன் திஸ் லேயர் கன்டைன் ஆர்கானிக் மெட்டீரியல் லைக் லீவ்ஸ் நீடல்ஸ் அண்ட் ட்விக்ஸ் மூஸ் அண்ட் லிச்சன்ஸ் வில் பி தேர் ஓகே அண்ட் ஏ ஹாரிசன் ஆர் டாப் சாயில் ஓகே இட் இஸ் அ பார்ட் ஆஃப் டாப் சாயில் கம்போஸ்ட் ஆஃப் ஆர்கானிக் மேட்டர் மிக்ஸ்டு வித் அ மினரல் மேட்டர் ஓகேவா ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் கால்ட் அஸ் அ டாப் சாயில் okay va after the organic layer this is considered as a top soil okay so it contains a, a composed of organic material and also mixing with the mineral matters will be there and horizons are elevated layers so next one e stands for elevated layer this layer is significantly leached of clay and iron and aluminum oxide which leaves the concentrations of ore so this contains iron aluminum oxide which leave which leaves in the concentration in the ore okay so this is the sub oil okay va wow. elevated oil so here we can see and horizon are sub oils and this layer reflects the chemical or uh, physical alternations of the parent material so we can see the reflections of chemicals physical alternation physical changes will be um, occur in the parent material thus iron clay aluminum and organic components are found accumulate in the horizon okay va wow. so these things uh, we can see in this sub oils and horizons or parent rock partially weathered parent material accumulate in this layer so here the parent material less con- con- contain less only okay why in this layer and uh, uh, horizons parent rock this layer consists of unweathered part of bedrock so in the bedrock ne pirumna sidai vadandu irukum appdinu solranga okay va so here we can see parent material here we can able to see okay and bedrock okay va inge irukka epdi irukum bedrock na sidai vadandu irukum appdinu solranga okay 
So next one is conservation of soil. Soil conservation is the process of protecting the soil from the erosion to maintain its fertility. Okay, wow. And the soil order and the tanmi ilaka ame. Okay, wow. And the save pandra da. And the protect pandra da. Yedal and the man arithal and tadkara da. Okay, wow. So protect pandra da soil. Okay, wow. So in order to maintain its fertility. So man arithal and tadkara soil order fertility a vandu. குறையாமல் பார்த்துக்கிறது தான் இந்த சாயில் கன்சர்வேஷன் இந்த ப்ராசஸ் வந்து யூஸ் ஆகுது ஓகே த மெத்தட் த மெத்தட்ஸ் தட் ஆர் வைட்லி ப்ராக்டிஸ்ட் ஃபார் கன்சர்வேஷன் கன்சர்வே கன்சர்விங் சாயில் ஆர் ஃபாரஸ்டேஷன்ஸ் கண்ட்ரோல் கிராசிங் கன்ஸ்ட்ரக்ஷன் ஆஃப் டேம்ஸ் கிராப்ஸ் ரொட்டேஷன் ஸ்ட்ரிப் ஃபார்மிங் அண்ட் ஆல்சோ கண்ட்ரோல் அண்ட் ப்ளூவிங் டெரஸ் ஃபார்மிங் அண்ட் செக்கிங் ஷிஃப்டிங் கல்டிவேஷன் அண்ட் வின் பிரேக்ஸ் எக்ஸெட்ரா ஸோ தீஸ் ஆர் த மெத்தட்ஸ் இன் ஆர்டர் டு ப்ராக்டிஸ் கன்சர்வேஷன் ஆஃப் சாயில் ஓகே Okay, next one is uses of soil. Um, we are going to see about some important uses of soil. The mineral present in the soil enhance and nourish the crops and plants. Okay, wow. So the mineral which is present in the soil, it is improves the uh, crops nourishment and also plants. It is used in making of ceramic, ceramics and pottery. Okay, wow. So it is a soil we can use it for making pot okay, wow, and also ceramic works. Okay. and it is the sources of material for construction and uh, handicraft works okay well, so we can use the soil for the purpose of making construction purpose and also handicraft works and uh, it is act as a natural filter of water and purifies it okay well, so it is also filtering um, and filtering and also purifies the water okay and soil support ecosystem and play an important role in the land management so for the in order to maintain our land perfectly it is uh, play an important role okay it is a play an important role and also support the our ecosystems okay so rocks and soils are the important and renewable nature resources and both of them they play an important role in everyday life of the human being as well as the economic development so um, rock and soils are playing very important role for the purpose of human being for in their everyday life okay and also um, uh, and also develop our economic conditions okay thank you students